We are one week away from my favorite time of the year, Lent, which begins next week, February 26th on Ash Wednesday. And we're actually going to begin with the story of Jesus being led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to fast for 40 days. You might be wondering, what is fasting? Well, it's this spiritual discipline that we see all throughout Scripture. And I like the way Richard Foster defines this practice. Foster says, fasting is the voluntary denial of a normal function for the sake of intense spiritual activity. It's giving up something to have more of God. And in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says, when you fast, not if you fast, but when you fast, it's obvious that our Lord expects us to be a fasting people. Which is why I'm extending a challenge of sorts to anyone and everyone to join me in fasting for 40 days. To give up something in our lives of personal value in order to have more of Jesus. To to make scripture our, our rhythm of life rather than sports or school or work and vacation. But to actually reorient ourselves around something that's so much more meaningful. And it helps to give up these good things in the world to to have more of the eternal things of God. So ask the Spirit to lead you into this season, to reveal to you the thing that that God wants you to give up. And maybe it's coffee or, or streaming services at night that you often binge watch, or it could be internet on your cell phone, or even complaining. But what are the things that you're gonna let go of during this season in order to seek more of God and His kingdom? And you see, this is a chance for us to have a new rhythm of life. That's what I love about it. We do this together as a community. Our rhythm of life, it's following Jesus' footsteps from the wilderness to his sermon on the mountain. This anticipation, this excitement, it begins to build as we get closer to Holy Week. And we follow his footsteps into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And then finally, we remember that he walked up Calvary carrying the cross because of our sins. And then on Sunday, our fast, it concludes with a celebration as we remember his footsteps out of the empty tomb when our king had victory over death. This is a chance for us to to give up something in order to get more of God. So join me. Join me in fasting during this season as we feast on more of God.